guys with another video. So we're gonna check out when the Avengers jump Loki for coming to New York by the homie Yo Ali. Hey man, when it come and the Avengers, when Loki made his first appearance, what he did in New York City was absolutely ridiculous. Cause especially when the Avengers uh Avengers and New York City, they committed a whole lot of collateral damage and of the fact that Loki was trying to like take over New York City type type shit. But I know for a fact the Avengers, when they came all together for the first time, I know for a fact this was going to be. I was here for it, especially when uh, Loki uh, made this type of portal release all types of creatures type type shit. Yeah, I know for a fact this is gonna be really good. So, Yo Ali, shout out to you, bro, for this video. So, enough with the chit chat. Let's get down to business. Appreciate all the love, support you guys have shown to the channel. If you're new to the channel, make sure you run the like, subscribe, tap that bell so you don't miss any video that I post, all that good stuff. Also, show some love to my second channel. It's called Ant on Anime. I'm gonna be doing a video sometime uh, this week or heading into next next week for the beginning of, of the month of May. Be on the lookout for that. I'll leave it down in the description box. Show some love to that. Let's get it. You know why we're all gathered here today. We have to break down how crazy the Avengers were going back in 2012. They were out there looking like the 2017 Warriors. They had a stacked team full of all of the greatest superheroes on the entire planet. But there's one thing that we all cannot forget. They were in the streets of New York causing more property damage than Rod... Yep. And let's just say, the amount of damage that not only the Avengers, but Loki caused in this whole movie was absolutely ridiculous. You know there's 93% of y'all who aren't subscribed? Go ahead and tap that button. Also, show some love to my second channel. It's called Ant on Anime. I will be doing some anime videos on there as soon as po possible. If you haven't seen my first video that I dropped, please show some love, love on to that. I'll just leave it down in the description box. Enjoy the rest of the video. Leave after falling to the ground. But before we dive into this video, if you guys can do me a small little favor and smash that subscribe button real quick and help a brother out, that would be more than appreciated. So after Loki got freed from being locked up in that container, Iron Man pulls up on Loki and he just starts interrogating this man asking what his plans are while he's on Earth. But Tony should have already knew that Loki only had bad intentions cause he tells Tony that he's about to wipe out the Avengers. And Tony really started pouring Loki a drink like he was all cool with him. But you know Loki, he had no- That's the crazy part, like you're talking to somebody while he's pouring a drink at your- at his crib? That's- that's next level disrespect time to be hanging out with tony especially nice. since the avengers are after him right now like you really think that loki is gonna sit down with you and have a whole conversation like Hell i don't no. know why tony thought it would be a good idea to come face to face with loki without his suit on thinking that nothing would happen like that's nice. literally the equivalent of me wearing shorts in the middle of the winter just do us all a favor oh my god i really hate that because when i was living in new york seeing people wearing cr shorts in the winter like, bro, do you have any idea how cold it is? Like, put on some pants. Favor and put on that suit, bro. And Loki was really about to eviscerate Tony Stark. And bro was just confused as to why it didn't work on him. But then Tony starts roasting Loki. And he should have never yeah. done this. Because it kind of turns his buttons a little bit. Hey, Loki, yeah. tell me why you look like a rip-off version of Ninja if he was emo. And Loki oh, clearly God. had enough of Tony. Because he grabs his neck and then tosses him to the ground. And then Loki walks up to him and grabs his face. Like, dog, there's no reason for you to be gripping onto him that hard. You're about to break his jaw. You need to calm down. But anywho, Loki starts talking some sense into Tony and tells him, There's no way out of this one. You're done. So then Loki proceeds to toss Tony straight out of the window. But luckily Jarvis comes in clutch with a last second buzzer beater and saves Iron Man before he gets turned into Black Widow and dies from fall damage. If there's any Black Widow fans watching right now, I'm sorry, I have to sneak that one into the video. Hope y'all aren't mad. And Iron Man was not tolerating that type of disrespect, cause bro spins the block on Loki and blasts him right in the chest. And that must have been the straw that broke the camel back, because he opens a whole portal to which a bunch of Shitari troops fall out the sky. And this is where I knew that it was about to go down. 
you could tell that Loki was fueled by nothing but pure hatred. Like, look at his face. He was enjoying every single bit of New York's downfall. But I mean, he probably does this on Asgard every single day. So starting a whole war means nothing to him. Like, he was literally born to destroy cities on a daily. He's built for this. So all of a sudden, Thor comes in and tries putting Loki in check and tells him to turn off the Tesseract. And my boy just stood there and said, oh, no, no. Like, why would you even ask him to deactivate the Tesseract? Do you really think he's gonna listen to you after how badly you violated him the last time you guys fought? Like, you oh, almost yeah, sent that man that. to the Shadow Realm. So Loki screams at Thor and then comes down with the scepter, but Will Thor you? dodges it and then strikes him with his hammer. Then Loki tries countering, but Thor hits a clean duck down weave. Had Loki aiming for Yao Ming, because who are you trying to hit, bro? Alright, so then Loki misses Thor with a blast, and then they both cancel each other out with their attacks, and peep how this man Thor was actually about to take Loki's entire head off his body, but then he suddenly hits the limbo, and then Loki throws him right to the ground. Okay, Loki, that was pretty nice. I was not familiar with your game. I'm not even gonna. I ain't gonna lie. That whole swinging of the hammer yeah loki's head would have been knocked off his body for sure gonna hold you loki was really out here playing no fill squads against the avengers he was just thugging it out by himself because the rest of the team tried shooting at loki only for them to get blasted and their entire ship put on fire and you would think hawkeye being the worst fighter on the avengers would at least be good at flying but nah turns out this man is garbage at everything because bro almost gets everyone killed by that rough landing of his like he literally caused at least five million dollars of property damage just from that landing the avengers finally arrive after like 20 whole minutes but i guess better late than never but never yeah. late is better and we see nothing but complete madness in new york city people yeah, running and screaming damage. buildings falling and breaking just a normal day in nyc am i right so the avengers look up and i already know how how it is if you know you know into the sky and they realize that they're not only cooked but they are deep fried because they see a whole ender dragon appear out of the portal and i'm just thinking to myself how is hawkeye gonna be useful at all in this situation like i actually can't take hawkeye seriously right now because bro really brought bow and arrows and thought that would do the job for him like this is not the 1960s anymore you need to upgrade your tech like ask tony stark to build you a laser beam or something i don't know and Loki and his goons did not get to wasting any time. They were out here blowing up cars and catching bodies. Like they yes. really had no reason to be doing all of this. Loki's crew, that what he assembled, yo, they were on some straight time and committing a whole lot of collateral damage. And I can guarantee to you, Sukunite don't got shit on this nigga. They really had everyone fearing and fighting for their lives. Like this is literally World War II all over again. So the right. Avengers get surrounded by Loki's army and Captain America starts talking about Ayo hey, Hawkeye, you should probably find somewhere safe to hide and leave the rest to us. And Hawkeye was tired of all the hate and slander that was being directed towards him. So he's like, put some respect on my name. You understand me? When y'all saying my name, put some respect on. So Captain America jumps onto the bus and he was really out here looking like he was Vector. Cause look at how high Cap was jumping. Like someone give this man a contract to the Lakers. He should be in the NBA with that type of vertical. That super soldier serum really got him moving different. Captain America starts nice. telling the cops to get the people out of the streets and to call in some backup. But this man really said, why should I take orders from your bum ass wearing a Party City costume outfit? He was just standing there like, Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Who are you? And Facts. Captain America had to show him real quick that he's the boss around here because bro was just farming kills on these bots until he looked this man dead in his eyes and told him, Look at me, sure. I'm the captain now. When I tell you this scene right here had every Marvel fan in a chokehold, I am not lying to you oh because God. how can you not get no excited watching the Prime Avengers cooking up the Shatari army? Like they even had Hawkeye putting in work, even I was like, yeah. Yeah. Like, they exactly. really do not be making movies like this anymore. So y'all better enjoy this masterpiece for like a whole nother two decades. Because I have no clue what they're currently doing in the MCU. Because I can guarantee to you, whatever they're cooking in the MCU right now is complete and utter garbage. You, but they need to stop making more Marvel movies. Which, by the way, this movie here, complete doodle cheeks. 
because nobody wants to see She-Hulk and the Unincredible Hulk. Like, get that off of my screen, bro. Like, that crap stank, don't it? Ugh. So Bruce Banner makes his appearance, and I'm just like, bro, where were you for the last hour? Like, half of Loki's army would have already been dead if you were actually here, unlike a dad going to get the milk from the store. Man, you corny! And what is this man Bruce Banner wearing? Like he really pulled up in the middle of a war wearing a casual outfit as if he was about to go for a quick little jog. Like you know it's bad when you have less drip than Hawkeye. And this is where Bruce Banner does something unexpected, unanticipated, and unforeseen. Because Captain America is like, this is a good time for you to get angry, Bruce. But we all should have knew that Bruce Banner was waiting his entire life for this single moment. Like the quiet kid waiting to pull out the Glock 19 out of his... Yep, cause just like these videos, and I, and me during my high school years, I was most likely the quiet one, to be honest. His book bag, because bro just turns into the Hulk on command, and he stops this entire thing single-handedly. Hey, I'm not gonna lie, that has to be top 5 MCU moments of all time. Oh, you can God. go on argue with the wall, I don't care. And at this moment, I could see it and feel it. The Avengers were cooking, because were we hear cooking, the classic bro. theme song play in the background. And we get a yes. clean 360 of the Avengers being posed up together. Yes. And that was so hard that even Loki saw that and said, Hey, let me get in there with you guys real quick and get a quick Hell picture. No. I know that IG flick was mad clean. They call us the nice. Avengers because we're the defenders. Mm. Mm. Boy, if you don't get... So Loki <laughs> sends in the rest of his army and we see Hulk catching bodies left and right. Just yes. causing irreversible amounts of property damage that even Bob... This is the Hulk I love. Love, man, and I and the Hulk that we have now is complete and utter ass. Like I hate when they do the Hulk so dirty. The builder won't be able to fix. So nope. the cameraman pans over and we see Black Widow jump off of Captain America's shield and onto a Shitari ship. And at first thought, I'm like, dog, what is she doing in the air? She has no superpowers. Like if she falls down, she's gonna get cooked. But I yep. spoke way too soon. I'ma just let her do her thing. No Miles Morales. And I don't know if Black Widow just no has that stealth badge on Hall of Fame or that these robots have the awareness of a literal snail because she stabs like bro Gary. in the back without him knowing and starts controlling the ship. And don't think I'm gonna discredit Iron Man because he was putting up Will Chamberlain numbers, taking out everyone in his sight. Like I know that KD ratio is gonna be looking real nice after this fight is over. Like next. this is actually some next level chemistry because Cap and Iron Man were using each other's abilities to take out the Shitari. Like this is that Naruto and Sasuke type of teamwork. And bro, next. peep that karate kick. I know for a fact they did not teach you that one in the army. Like Cap was really out here pulling moves I've never seen before. So Black Widow tells Hawkeye to be useful for once, so he fires off a shot at Loki, and look at how bro just caught that arrow in his hands. He the fact that this man captured that arrow and did not even look, that shit was crazy. He knew no, Hawkeye actually. was not a threat to him. Loki nope. even looked back at Hawkeye with that. Is that all you got? Uh, look. But I think Loki must have got a bit too ahead of himself. Cause he falls straight to the ground. And I know he was not expecting Hawkeye out of all people to be the one causing that much damage. Taking off his drip and everything. I know he was tight. And the Hulk was standing on straight business. Pissed. Because bro just launches in out of nowhere and smashes Loki through the glass and into oh the wall. God, Loki really bro. thinks he's the main character. Because bro just starts trash talking the Hulk. Talking about all of you are beneath me. But he must have forgot who he's talking to. Because bro pulls out the most iconic Hulk smash and just completely completely ragdolls Loki across the floor. Yep, and that's the exact same one what Kale did when she went berserk against Goku in the Tournament of Power. Giving him that nasty case of CTE. I mean, just take a look at Loki's face. He's That face explains it all. Don't talk all that hot nonsense. That's what's gonna happen. He's finished. He was not built for this. He should nope. have never came to Earth in the first place. So right before Hawkeye is about to get turned into smithereens, he pulls out this slow motion turnaround thinking he's him. Like in no universe should Hawkeye ever be hitting this pose. Like who do you never. think you are? You're just a guy with a bow and arrow. You are not that cold. Like we are not gonna put you in an edit bro. And this is exactly why Iron Man is the greatest Avenger of all time. 
because bro literally saves the entire planet by redirecting the oh, rocket yes. that's coming towards New York and makes it explode in the whole other dimension. But Iron Man luckily comes back down in time and then he's like, yo, you guys want to go get some shawarma? There's a place two blocks down from here. I'm hungry, bro. I guess you could say that the <laughs> Avengers are just built different. And also, before the video ends, make sure to smash that subscribe button for more Avenger videos. I'm out. Yo, my dude, you done it again, man. The scourge violated Bumblebee and became him. I might check that video out. But nah, man, when it comes to them Avengers, they were the definition of built different. But Iron Man, he's the MVP of it. The fact that he carried a whole rocket and just threw it at the portal, that's some... That's some type of shit, if you know what I mean. But the Avengers, yo, they were they were in their bag and they stood on business. Considering the fact they committed a whole lot of collateral damage in New York City. Like, let's be honest. But overall, this one was a really dope and fire video overall. Oh, yo, Ali, shout out to you, man, for dropping this vid. So comment down below. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this video. I appreciate the time. I love y'all so much for showing love and support to the channel. I really, truly appreciate it. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you run the like, subscribe, tap that bell so you won't miss any video that I post, all that good stuff. Roll to 1K. And also, show some love to my second channel. It's called In On Anime. I will be doing a uh, video sometime next week, dropping it, and most likely... Uh, I want to do some collabs with with y'all as as well. Let me know in the comments who you want me to collab collab with and most specific topics. So without further ado, I bid you all farewell. I'm gone.